What's up you guys? Welcome back to Bus Life Adventure. First of all, for those of you West Coast viewers out there, I hope you guys are staying safe and are out of the smoke and the wildfires. Um, and our hearts really go out to those of you who have been affected by the wildfires. Uh, but anyway, today we have a really awesome tour for you guys on the channel. And it's a little bit unique because in this tour, you guys can actually go stay in this schoolie if you want to. It is Isaac from Cole Adventures Schoolie. He's going to give us the rundown of his 40-foot school bus uh, that is listed on Airbnb. So again, if you guys want to stay in the bus, it's located in Olympia, Washington. Uh, for those of you PNW folks out there, once this smoke clears up and you want to test out bus life, if you would be able to fit in a schoolie, you just want to see what it's like to spend a couple days inside of a schoolie, then definitely check them out. So without further ado, Isaac is going to take you away. All right. Hey, what's going on? Bus life people. My name is Isaac Colavecchio. I run a YouTube and Instagram profile account called Cole Ventures um, that is mostly focused on this here school bus behind us. This is a 1992 Thomas Pusher school bus. It's 40 feet long um, and it's got a 5.9 Cummins diesel engine with an Allison automatic transmission, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, this took us three months part-time and then three months uh, full-time to convert. Uh, we did the whole thing ourself, um, ourselves with a little help from our friends um, and we documented the whole thing on the YouTube channel so if you are doing your own bus um, check it out hopefully it's helpful um, and I figured I'd make a little walkthrough tour video for the bus life channel so here you go I think we'll start outside um, there's not a lot to point out out here we just got a new moon shade uh, because we wanted to have some shade for the bus that could be detachable and reattachable depending on when we drive. Um, and set it up yesterday and it's so far doing pretty good. Right here, we've got an outdoor table that I screwed on uh, in like five minutes. Um, it's real small, just enough for a little propane cooktop if we're out on the go. We got our water plug in here and then we got a 50 amp plug that goes into the underside of the bus and feeds the whole bus. We have um, four batteries underneath and we had an inverter, but I blew like four inverters, so I just stopped trying. <laughs> um, and so the batteries are just sitting there on a trickle charge um, and I'll get to that someday. But right now the power only works inside um, when it's plugged in. Um, and we've got cornhole here, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and I think that's it for outside. And so let's go inside. All right, so here we are inside the bus. Uh, we built this bus mostly um, to Airbnb it, actually, and to use uh, here and there on some trips. So we uh, have a little bit different layout and design than most people. We're not full-time bus lifers. We are part-time, um, and then we have just opened it up officially on Airbnb. Um, and so the layout, we have two couches here in the front. Um, and then underneath me is a table that you can pull out and um, set up as a bed and then the cushions lay all the way across and then the table can pop up and you can have dinner right here. Um, but for our Airbnb guests, we don't recommend them doing that. We have tray tables right here that they can use um, because the table's pretty heavy and a little bit clunky to get in and out and we don't even really use it, we just eat on our laps or if we're at a campground we sit outside because that's the whole point is to be out um, in nature behind me over here we've got our rock climbing holes so you can stay yoked while you're <laughs> living in the bus um, and then we have our our guest book for our airbnb um, it's polaroid little dangly picture thing um, so you can show us your face when you stay here there's our driver's seat right there it's got an air seat, so you bounce while you drive, which is kind of fun. Um, and then we've got our shades here. We had a friend sew those for us, and they're just on like a, a copper pipe that we screwed up into the wood. Ceiling, you've probably noticed, it's all cedar. Um, tongue and groove, this took a long time to do. And the bend on the edge, that was rough. But again, had some buddies come and help us out. 
Skylight is a DIY. We ripped out the emergency hatch and built our own out of wood. Um, and that's kind of the front living room, I guess you could call it. Um, this here is a Wally Grow. They pop on and off. Um, so when we drive, we put all of our plants in the bathtub so the dirt doesn't fly around and throw our plants on the ground. Moving forward, we have our kitchen. One shelf up here um, for plates and cups and things. And again, we're not living in it, so we don't need a ton of stuff. Uh, big old sink, induction stovetop, microwave oven, and a little more storage down underneath. Trash. There's our electrical panel for our 110. Coffee, spoons, knife rack. I think that's the kitchen. Oh, and then our fridge. Can you see our fridge down here? Freezer, fridge, combo, unit. So that's kind of the front area. And then we divided the, the bus up, the layout with the bathroom in the middle. So all of our plumbing is kind of in this area right here. So we'll move to the bathroom. All right, bathroom. We've got our nature's head toilet, obviously, just like everyone has. Um, it vents out there down on the right. Um, and our pee bucket is actually, we modified it to be a tube that goes down into our gray water. So we do not have to dump our pee bucket. Um, a little USB fan up there um, <laughs> to get the stink out. And then this is our shower. We've got a 24 by 36 inch bathtub for the kids. We've got a four year old and a two year old. So um, they don't fit in there together anymore. Um, but. We can take a bath if we want, and then the whole shower is cedar. Um, some people said it was a bad idea to do cedar, but I did it anyway. Um, we just caulked it and sealed it, and cedar is supposed to be pretty waterproof, so, so far so good. It's been a couple years, and, and the cedar is holding up all right. Um, and then right here we got our little sink, and then a mirror, hi. <laughs> and some more storage for our toilet paper and stuff underneath. Um, and that is our itty bitty bathroom. All right, so this back area, this is the bedroom. Uh, we've got ourselves a king sized uh, tuft and needle bed because mostly what we do in here is sleep. Um, and for an Airbnb, you want a nice bed. So got our bed underneath. We've got um, two pull out storage deals for your clothes and whatnot. Um, and then along the sides, over here, you probably see it better, um, is storage if you want to put socks or something. Um, what else? Oh, we got an air conditioner up in the back, shoots right on your face while you're sleeping. And then our other skylight, and of course the cedar ceilings all the way. Got a heater just in case. We have a cubic mini stove coming, but they're like four weeks out right now um, because of, you know, the world we live in right now. Um, and then right here is a shelf with some plugs. And this was a desk, a stand-up desk for me um, because I work on a computer most of the time. Um, but I never used it, so I took it out. So we have a little more space here. We put a crib here when we had a baby. Um, but I think that's that's the tour. This is That's our schoolie. Um, so if you are interested in the build at all and you want to see how we did all this, you can go to our YouTube channel, check it out, um, or follow us on Instagram, whatever you like. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, um, and keep, keep bussing on. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you so much, Isaac, for showing us your bus. And if you guys would like to stay in Cola Ventures, then I'm going to put the Airbnb link below in the description. Uh, I think it's a great way, especially if you're trying to decide if the schoolie life is for you, if you'd be able to live in a tiny space. Uh, it would be a great test run to just see how you do. Once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot to us, so don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends if you guys got somebody interested in the schoolie life. Show them Cola Ventures and give them a visit. Thanks, guys. Peace.